Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm coming to you again with your weekly oracle card reading and this week I feel like uh, almost like the pressures come off for some of you uh, as if you have been in a kind of pressure cooker but the pressure has been released and that you can just deal with almost like matters that are superficial or practical or uh, material and so I choose some cards which have a light, lighter meanings. And of course, one can read deeper into these uh, cards and you can always access more from them. But I've decided to just work with cards that are quite light in their nature and um, just give us basic, a kind of superficial understanding of what we need to know for the week ahead. So uh, these messages might be on the nose or they might be deeper. Well, we, I don't really know. So go ahead. Uh, make your selection of cards and the question we're asking as we always do in the weekly oracle card reading is what do we need to know right now what is it that's um, really important for us to hear at this moment with regard to whichever situation you choose so once again you can actually choose like all the three cards for different uh, aspects of your life or you can just choose one card uh, as a general overview for what you need to hear at this moment all right so it's option one two and three go ahead make your selection pause the video if you need to and you may go down to the description box where you'll find your timestamp all right i'm going to go ahead and begin the reading so for those of you who've chosen the first deck here the question we're asking is what is it that we need to know right now what is the most important thing that we need to know at this moment We have one card here and it's called patience and uh it's the green corn moon it's the number 36 so i feel like it's important to choose another card for you so i'm going to go ahead and just do that right now Okay, so there are two messages in this um, in this reading, and we can read this in many ways. I'm going to give you the different options that we have here. So, um, the first card is patience, and it's you know it's as if you are still heading somewhere, and it's almost uh, just beyond the horizon, and you can get a glimpse of it, but you're just not able to actually access it right now. And the card is asking that you be patient. It's almost like there's this impatience or this irritability or this frustration um, of not being able to have what it is that you desire or kind of seeing that you can reap the rewards, but it's almost just beyond your reach. And there's this feeling that comes with it that, you know, am I going to be able to access this? Or is it, am I always going to be in a space of waiting in the chambers, waiting, waiting to receive, waiting to reap the harvest, waiting to access that abundance, which is, is in, is waiting for me, it's in my destiny, or I can see it, I can, I can get a glimpse of it, or it's kind of teasing me. And it's there, but how am I going to get there? So it brings up many emotions, um, as I mentioned already, like frustration, irritation, almost like a hopelessness, almost wondering, like, how can I actually do this? And almost wanting to give up because it feels sometimes to be too overwhelming and you just can't get what it is that you need. So it's there's a space between you and what it is that you desire. And it's almost like, uh, you know, you can't actually get it fast enough. All right. So. What it's saying here is that just, you will, you know, you need to take your time. You need to understand that it's a process. You need to understand that you're on a journey and you are heading somewhere. And sometimes when you're on this journey, you also, it's not always moving. Sometimes it stands still and you are waiting for something else to happen before you can move forward again. And this might be one of those times for you where you just need to stand still and just hold on because maybe 
you are in a in a space that's turbulent or maybe you just need to stay stay still and listen and be quiet for a while and feel or maybe it is that you just need to observe for a moment but what it's saying here is that just be patient just be in this moment and recognize that there will be a time just now where you'll be able to move forward and don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed or be put off by the distance between you and what it is that you desire recognize that you are heading towards that that it is a goal of yours and yes it may seem so distant like it's light years away but it's actually not it's in fact within your grasp it's just that right now is the time to just stand still and wait and just be patient okay so that's the feel the kind of meaning of this card here it's a number 36 and the other thing i'm hearing here is that um okay so for some of you that is what what you need to do right now and there's going to be a moment just after that when you you can actually move forward again where things are just ready to go ahead and you can use all of your your power to move ahead and to move things forward it's just that right now is not the time for that but what they're saying is that like around the corner uh, there is going to be a time where you can just like harness all your energy and buckle down and just move forth like really uh, with a lot of strength and a lot of passion and just a lot of energy. Uh, they also, the the other message I'm getting here is that, well, the, like sometimes one can look at this card, right? And one could say, all right, you know, this, I just got to be patient and the masculine <laughs> is going to enter my life and it's just a matter of time before they could get there. And I feel that that's such a, like a simplistic explanation. Um, but if some of you, I'm, I'm like, I'm not hearing that that it, it is, right? Uh, but if some of you are feeling that, that, and it's resonating with you, then, you know, go go with that. And that is one of the ways in which you could read these cards. I'm feeling, however, that this is very much related to being patient and being still, as I've mentioned, as a definition for this card, or what this card, the energy of this card, and then just moving ahead when the time is right with all that you have. And if you are, you know, in a process where you're like setting up a business and things are taking too long or you're trying to get started with some study related stuff and it's just like taking forever or you're just not getting to the groove where you can get into a good rhythm or whatever, just understand that sometimes it's just a matter of time before you get there. It's just a matter of like waiting for things to come into the right um, space or to click into place so that you can use all of your resources and all of your energy and all of your skills and knowledge and power to push things forward but uh, that moment will come and it is there it is forecasted but right now is the moment to just wait all right so that is what i'm hearing for you guys this week uh, for those of you who've chosen the option number one here just a quick look at these cards Yeah, I can see how some some of you may may see this as just like moving towards the masculine and having patience and kind of um, uh, reiterating a certain rhetoric, which might be, in fact, um, not necessary to your be benefit. So uh, take these cards in whichever way you desire. All right, so that is your reading for this week. Moving on to the second deck here. The question we're asking is, what is it that we need to know right now? What is this message that we're looking for? What is this confirmation that we require? Okay, I'm just going to give these cards a shuffle. Ah, yes. Okay, there's one card. I feel like I need to also choose another card for you. For those of you who've uh, watched the first uh, deck already, you will know that I have done that there as well. I'm just going to give these cards a shuffle and see what comes up. Oops, there's a lot coming up here. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to go with this card. Let's like flip it over in there. I feel like 
I feel like there's a little another card that needs coming through for you. So I'm just going to go ahead with this. All right, let's go with this here. Okay, so all these cards kind of feel like, all these messages feel like they, they flow into each other, you know. Following your bliss, proceeding softly, merging into grace. It's almost as if it's a, it's a sentence. It's like, okay, you need to follow your bliss. That's the direction in which you need to go into now. Don't um, think about, don't, you know, ensure that at every step of the way, uh, all the actions that you're taking um, is in the direction of following your bliss. And the way to test this uh, is to f is when you, you when your soul sings with joy, as the caption reads here. That's when you know you're following your bliss. All right. And then there's this message of proceed softly. You know, it's it's going to take time. It's going to take almost like getting used to that. Almost um, a learning how to follow your bliss. So proceed softly. Be gentle with yourself. Don't push yourself too hard. Um, don't be too hard on yourself when you don't get it right, when you slip into old patterns, when you are uh, kind of, if you're trying to make some, some changes in your life, if you're trying to make, if you're going through a transformation and you, you're trying to make some kind of headway in a certain direction and you're struggling to do so, then one of the messages that are coming forth really clearly is give yourself time to do that. Give yourself the, you know, be patient with yourself. Take your time to actually do this slowly and to enjoy doing it okay so the the caption here is my inner power grows in moments of quietude so actually this is so, so it's such an important message here my inner power grows in moments of quietude quietude i'm not sure how you pronounce that so um i think here this is a message that we could all benefit from you know uh, just being quiet or being still within oneself at the moment at which we require answers and the answers will come to us. We just need to be quiet because we already have all the answers. You know, you don't need to come to these big card readings or you don't need to go to a psychic or to some um, um, truth sayer. You need actually just to listen to yourself because you have the wisdom within you. And if you can quieten yourself down to listen to what it is that is authentic the authentic truth that's coming forth then you will you will be okay you'll be you're able to hear that and you'll be able to move forward the danger is that sometimes when you quiet quieten yourself you kind of listen to your own voice telling you what you want to hear and it's important to discern what is you know your voice and what it is that you want to hear and what is the the message that is the universal message of your truth or you tapping into that universal consciousness Sometimes the message is the same, you know, and so you still don't know. But um, it requires a bit of practice. It requires understanding oneself better in the process. And so it's saying here, yeah, follow your bliss and do so with a measure of, you know, your soul singing with joy. When you, when your soul singing with joy, that's when you know you are following your your bliss. But to proceed softly, and you know, if if you find that you are struggling with it, then go into yourself, be quiet, seek the answers from within, okay? And you'll find yourself merging into grace. You'll find yourself opening your soul into grace. So it's like, I feel that your soul is always in a state of grace, but it's the relationship that we have, our bodies have to our soul and and how we we navigate in this lifetime or in this body on this planet, you know, and so it's less, I feel like it's less about opening our soul to grace, but opening ourselves to grace, like opening ourselves to the grace that our soul has, actually. So it's it's like this is a sentence here, as I've said, like, follow your bliss, proceed softly, and merge into grace, emerging into grace, you'll find yourself merging to grace. So it's a moment at which, merging to grace is a moment at which you actually just don't feel like you know, you need to be doing anything any longer. You are in a state of grace and it's actually working for you. You are just simply in tune, completely in tune and completely okay with it. So you're not struggling to get anywhere. You're not trying to do anything. You uh, have lost. It's like you kind of, not lose, but you kind of leave behind the ambition that you might have or um, whatever it is that you're seeking. You stop being the seeker and you become the knower. All right. So this is actually the feeling that I'm getting here. And it says, 
for, you know, it feels very much like I, you can apply this in any area of your life. So it's uh, if you're actually on a spiritual path and your question as you've come here today is a spiritual question. It's like, a, you know, what do I need to do to come into more peace or what do I need to do to transform? Then this this is a very direct um, answer, you know, follow your bliss. Right? But I feel that it can be applied to every situation. If it's a situation of work where you're struggling or with family or with certain family dynamics, behave in a manner that you, uh, that your soul, where your soul is seeing you joy. Just follow that as a rule. You know, if you can follow that as a rule in every action that you take, then um, then if you you know you you try to understand this and you're aware of yourself and you're observant in every moment. I feel like you'll make a lot of headway with that. You know, you'll come through a lot of things and and you'll, you know, if you, part of this is actually proceeding softly. This is like kind of woven, this message here is kind of woven into that one. And this is like the outcome of that. And it's it really is all like the same message for me, you know. It's about following your bliss and being quiet within yourself, understanding what that inner joy, that inner fulfillment that that real bliss feels like and as you do so and as you uh act in accordance then you do naturally merge into grace all right so i hope the message has been useful it really does feel like a very obvious message uh to me uh from these cards i'm not really getting anything more than that i feel like um, I could like speak forever and I know some of you said like I should just do that and but I, I, I prefer not to because I like these videos to be quite short and, and to the point I try at least for it to be to the point so that you don't have to spend too much of time on there and um, yeah but I hope this has resonated on some level I feel like it resonates with everyone you know so um, good luck with that and I hope it does help and thank you very much for coming by today for those of you who've chosen this deck here so moving on to the third deck here what is it that you need to know right now and what have you come here to hear what is the message that is really necessary for you to hear at this moment Hello and goodbye. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to stick with this card. It feels like this is packed with information already. And there's not much more than this here. So the card title is Hello and Goodbye. And it says here, you'll soon see that this change will make things better. So for all of you who are making changes, if you're leaving behind a partner, if you're leaving behind a home, if you're leaving behind a country, if you're leaving behind a job, um, this message is really for you. Okay, if for, for those of you who are not in any kind of state where you are uh, thinking of making any changes, or for those of you who've actually come, you've already made the change and you've just arrived, then the message is slightly different. Okay, so... This is, this is a card which affirms whichever change that you're making in your life and it's affirming the transformation that you've cho chosen to make. The change that you made here is either one that you've chosen or it's something that's been sprung upon you. You've been forced to change as a result of something. You've been forced to move out because your, um, uh, your landlord increased your rent or you've been forced to move uh, out of a job because uh, you've been retrenched or whatever it is, this change is actually for the better all right and it's going to bring um it's going it's going to have um it's going to oh, like i'm hearing so many different things now it's going to be bring like abundance in your life but it has great value in itself this change in itself not it's not about what it will bring but it's more about what it what it signals in itself it signals an end of an era and I feel like I've spoken about this before in so many readings recently like it's this end of this era it's the end of something it's the beginning of something new and you know where we headed to with that um so this this card is kind of like a confirmation of that it's okay to be leaving behind it's okay to be going forth it's okay to start anew if you've been kind of forced to start anew and you haven't been wanting to do so 
um, this card is saying, well, you know what? It's actually fine. Go with this. It's going to be good for you. All right. There are lots of blessings that come with this move. There's lots of blessings that comes with this change. And this this move or this, this change that's taking place in your life is, is divinely supported. Now, for those of you who aren't making any changes and there's nothing really going on in that respect, this could be uh, simple things that you're doing that's changing around in your in your home environment or in your work environment, a certain attitude that you leave behind, a certain way of looking at things that you're leaving behind. This could also mean that you are encouraged to look at where you can make changes or where a change could bring some great transformative value in your life. So where is it that something can be shifted or something can be changed to bring about greater goodness? And even though you may not see the greater goodness at this moment, it is lurking in there somewhere. And so where is it that you can make those changes in order to bring that into your life? Even though you may not see it at this moment, it may be just, you know, beyond your your idea of it, what am I trying to say here? It could be like beyond your reach, not beyond your reach, but like it's beyond your imagination almost. Like you can't really see that things could get better, but it feels like, okay, there's a change that can be made here. So if none of this applies to you and you just don't feel like, you know, there's any change going on in your life, then I want to say here, that there are there are there may be uh, situations in your in your world in your emotional landscape, um, whether it be old lovers, old friends, old boyfriends, old relationships, where there's a, it needs to be you know, like brought out of the closet and looked at again, and and reevaluated, and then basically you know decide what you're going to do with that, decide what the lessons were in that, to decide why you know understand why it is that you behaved a certain way as you did in that relationship or how um, the other party behaved and and say goodbye to some of these relationships once and for all or if necessary i feel this is in you know in a very few cases you might want to pick up the phone and call this person again but it's almost like this uh, kind of uh, you know, like bringing up something from the past that needs to be re-looked at and let go at for and let go of once again. So this this card had so many different meanings, and I feel like there's like all of this is is relevant to some of you. Um, there's one more message that's coming through here, and that's you know you might be desperately seeking this hello and this goodbye you might be desperately seeking a new beginning in your life but that new beginning is just not there right now and it's going to take a while it's just not practically possible for it to happen right now is what i'm hearing and you're just going to need to wait a little longer it will come you will come you will come to it ultimately it's just a little in the in the distance in the background and it's there you're not faltering the path that you've chosen it's not one that's uh, going to take you astray. You are still heading in that direction of where it is that you, you want to go to. Don't question your path, okay? Just hang on. It's a long journey before you get there. And long may mean a few months, it may mean a few weeks, it may mean years, it may mean decades, okay? It really depends on you and your situation. And, uh, I mean, you know, you can actually control time you can control it you know it's like elastic you can pull it and stretch it or you can bring it together and so um try in, in your case if you're feeling like okay i really want this change but it's not happening you know try to play with with time you know do some rituals or some spells with time and try to stretch it or, or bring it together compress it and see what what the impact is in your life uh, work with that play with that and see if you can make some changes uh, or you can affect some change um, using that as a means all right so that was your message for you this week i hope that resonated and let me know how you find these messages it is nice if you when you leave comments i do enjoy reading them um and uh yeah let me know if you have any ideas as to what i could do differently with these weekly oracle card readings or if there's something else that you require beyond this i know yes you want more pick a card love readings and they are coming 
Okay, sending you all much love and wishing you a fabulous week ahead. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.